Here, the question is A and B are partners in a firm during a sharing profits in the ratio of 7 is to 3. They admit C as a partner on 1st April 2017 on which date the balance sheet of the firm was given below. And just after the balance sheet it is written, you are required to prepare evaluation account, partners capital accounts and balance sheet of the new firm after considering the following. First of all, working notes for treatment of goodwill. Old ratio of A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. C is admitted for one fourth share. Then, let the total profit of the firm be 1. Remaining share of A and B after C's admission is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth, that is equal to 4 minus 1 by 4, that is equal to 3 by 4. S new share that is 3 by 4 multiplied by 3 by 5 that is equal to 9 by 20. This 3 fourth will be shared between A and B in the ratio of 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. Say that is 3 is to 2. For B that is 2 by 5 multiplied that will give us to rupees 6 by 20. C's new share that is 1 by 4 multiplied by 5 by 5 that is equal to 5 by 20. Therefore the new ratio of A is to B is to C is equal to 9 is to 6 is to 5. Sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio. A sacrifice that is 3 by 5 minus 9 by 20 that is equal to LCM 20. 4 3 is 12 minus 9 that is equal to 3 by 20. B sacrifice is equal to 2 by 5 minus 6 by 20 that is equal to LCM 20. 4 2 is 8 minus 6 that is equal to 6 by 20. Therefore, the sacrificing ratio of A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. Note 1. Journal entry for a treatment of a bank charges. You can see this is a very interesting item coming for the first time and last time in the chapter C part. Bank charges had been over, overlooked and the amount of 200 for the year is in 2016 and 17. That is bank charges account debited to bank. It is an expenditure, it will be written in the revaluation account and it is a payment and bank usually deduct the amount. Hence the entry is bank charges to bank. It will be shown in the revaluation account's debit side and deducted from bank. Next is your fair note revaluation account. Draw the proper format. First item. To stock 1600. A part of the stock which has been included in at cost of rupees 2000 had been badly damaged in storage and could only expect to realize 400. 2000 worth stock will be sold at rupees 400. That means 2 stock 400, stock is worth 2000 and it is now, it can now be realized rupees 400, decrease in stock 1600. Next one is to bank charges as I have already explained you it is an expenditure and I was left out of consideration now considered 200. Next one is building 3000 you can see depreciation in building 3000 had been omitted for the year 2016-17. This is an expenditure depreciation is an expenditure it is a revaluation account debited to building account. Next one is to sundry creditors that is you can say. A credit for goods of 800 have been omitted from book, both purchases and creditors although goods have been already included in stock. The stock has been increased whereas creditor is to be increased, increase in liability is an expenditure and it should be debited to revaluation account. Then you are by prepaid insurance rupees 600 a part. An expense of rupees 1200 for insurance premium was debited in the profit and loss account of 2016-17 but only 600 of this applied to the period after 31st March 2016 that is by prepaid insurance rupees 600 out of this 1200 600 belong to the forthcoming year by prepaid insurance rupees 600 next one is we have to total this and before that the totaling of the debit side is rupees 5600 we have to write down in the credit side and this is by capital account revaluation loss transferred in old ratio of a is to v is equal to 3 is to 2. 
Now 5600 minus 600 that is 5000 in the ratio of 3 is to 2. A will be getting rupees 5000 multiplied by 3 by 5 whereas B will be getting 2 by 5. The amount for AB is rupees 3000 and 2000. Next is your capital account. Partners capital accounts that is by balance brought down. The capital balance is rupees 60,000 and 40,000. Then by cash account, you read out this line A part. C is to bring in 30,000 as capital and uh, rupees 10,000 as a premium for goodwill. That is by cash account 30,000 because uh, there is nothing mentioned whether he pays in check or cash. And by premium for goodwill, 10,000 in the ratio of 3 is to 2. That is 6,000 and 4,000, 3 is to 2. Now, totaling we have done, then to revaluation account loss to 3000 in case of A and 2000 in case of B. Now, total the credit side, take it to the debit side and find out the gap. The totaling per A is rupees 63,000, B is rupees 44,000, C is rupees 30,000, and balance carried down for A is rupees 63,000, B is rupees 42,000, and C is rupees 30,000. Then, balance it as at first. April 2017 after admission of C. In the asset side we have this building rupees 47,000 that is building less depreciation 3,000. Plant and machinery same value then stock is reduced hence after reduction of 1600 you need not have to deduct 2000 because 400 is realizable hence deduct 1600 out of stock data same amount 10,000 then your bank, bank charges after bank, after bank charges, bank balance, that is 10,000 minus 200, 9,800, then cash, that is capital plus goodwill, 30 plus 10, 40,000, then prepaid insurance rupees 600, prepaid insurance is increase in asset, prepaid insurance rupees 600, then Liabilities totaling of asset side is rupees one lakh fifty five thousand eight hundred. Then liabilities capital accounts A rupees sixty three thousand, B rupees forty two thousand, C rupees thirty thousand. Totaling is rupees one lakh thirty five thousand. Next one is creditors rupees twenty thousand eight hundred. Here creditor is twenty thousand. It is increased by eight hundred due to supply of goods on credit E part. Then comes your totaling that is rupees 1,55,800 and this is your final answer.